your gun from concealed, specifically if you're going to be carrying in the appendix position. Whatever you decide to do, make sure it's efficient, consistent, fast, and it works for you. I'm gonna be showing you what I do and what I like to teach, so go ahead and take what you want from it, but if you have a better way of doing it for yourself, go ahead and keep doing that but it doesn't hurt to branch out to see if there's a better way of doing things. And if you have anything else that I didn't mention, put those in the comments. I'm always learning myself, so I'd love to see what you guys are doing and what has been working for you. Okay, so starting off with clearing your garment, your fingertips should be pointed down. From there, I like to use the edge of the gun here to pinch the shirt, just because I can always grab the gun there if I just, grab it anywhere else, I find that I used to miss the shirt a lot of the time. So ever since I started using that edge of the gun and pinching there, I have missed the shirt only a couple times. It happens, but most of the time I do not miss it. From there, the reason I like to point my fingers down is from after you pinch it, you're going to crunch up. And even without pulling my hand up, I'm able to defeat the garment quite a bit. So here to here, that's quite a bit of inches that I already just moved the shirt up without pulling my arm up. From there, you don't have to pull up as high, but you're just gonna go straight up. If you like to wear your gun more on the side of your body, and if that works better for you, you might have to go up and to the side just so the shirt doesn't catch on the grip of the gun. Uh, for me, I, I just need to go pretty much straight up just because I wear it more in the center of my body and I don't need to come over to the side. Um, but if you do wear it to one of the sides more, then you might need to do that. Just be aware of that. Um, from there, when you grab the gun, I don't jab my thumb back here to get a full grip on it. Uh, what I do is I actually put my thumb over the top of the back of the slide here. And after I pull straight up, as I'm marrying my hands together, I pull my thumb around to get that full grip. And you don't need to go off the very top here. That's what I like to do because it's very consistent and I know that I'm going to be getting the same grip each time. But it also works if you're just over here on the side. So either one works. Um, I just find it's not as beneficial to try to jab your thumb back here, get a full grip on it. It's just easier to grab here, pull straight up, and it makes it a little bit quicker. So you're not having to fumble. Okay, that's a grip, that's a good grip. Pull it up, anyway. So that's what I like to do here. Pull it up, marry the hands, and then as I'm presenting out, I move my finger onto the trigger. So you don't want to have to go out, trigger, you want to blend it together so that you're prepping the trigger faster. Because if I'm presenting, then I am ready to shoot. So when you go to reholster, you want to point your gun down in front of you, and then you want to push your hips out just a little bit. You're trying not to fly yourself as much as possible. I see a lot of people when they're reholstering, point the gun towards their body and then put it in. You want to avoid flagging yourself. So that's why pushing the hips out, pointing it down towards the ground just a little bit in front of you, and then reholstering. And not reholstering fast. So many people just jam and get right into their holster. There's so many things that could go wrong with that. It's not a race back to the holster. There's no reason to quickly reholster, jam your gun into your holster. So take your time with that and make sure you're not flagging yourself and you're being safe with that because so many things could go wrong. There. Now when you are practicing your draw, I like to start with the first step and just add on an extra little step each time. So you're just starting with, you can even start here, grabbing that shirt and then clearing it, playing, oh, I just hit myself in the jaw, <laughs> playing with maybe going out to the side a little bit. Um, and then from there, getting your hand on the gun, and then eventually, oh, I don't, I don't know why I stopped there. And then eventually, 
you are going to be doing the full thing. One of the biggest mistakes I see people doing that holds them back from having a quick draw, and I used to be one of these people, but that is adding in unnecessary movement with this upper body. And so when I'm pulling straight up here, I'm only moving my arm. I'm not moving my upper body. And then again with the other hand as I'm grabbing my gun, I'm not doing this. If you feel like you need to, to maybe clear the shirt more, do what I did, do what I said at the beginning and fingers down, you're clearing it, clearing it already a lot there, and pulling straight up, up to the side if you need to. And you shouldn't have to feel like you need to use your body to get that shirt out of the way. Um, and if you're just doing it just because it's a habit, slow yourself down. Make sure you are not moving that upper body. It's crazy how much just adding in that little extra movement can slow you down. I recommend recording yourself or watching yourself in the mirror, having someone else watch you. Um, that way you're able to see those little things like that unnecessary movement, even if it's really small, you'll be able to see it. Um, or just like the way you clear your garment. So you'll be able to see those little things and if you record yourself, you're able to also slow it down too, which I personally really like. So you're able to just break it down step by step, see where you can improve. But if you found these tips helpful, or if you liked it, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.